Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Gloria MC series as well as the Minorize Beach series. So I'm here to talk to you about today's new releases. So everything that you see here is now available in the main shop. So if you guys are interested in these new journaling kits, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off your order. So we have some more floral journaling kits in the larger full size. So these kits are four pages, but I do have a mini kit uh, with different style of artwork for the journaling kits. Um, I thought I would bring smaller kits to the shop in case you guys don't need um, the full four pages. Um, and also I made the stickers a little bit smaller just so that they can fit into smaller planners like the Hobonichi A6 or the B6 Dology and things like that. So I'll show you the main difference between them as I go through all the kits. So we have here two new floral kits. So this is the full size, the larger size. So we have four pages. Um, we have here the rose florals. So this is kind of my take on the Christmas florals. There are a ton of red roses. You have some white ones interspersed in there. And it's just very, very pretty. There are two other pages included in this kit as well. But I do kind of want to show you the size difference compared to the mini kits. So the mini kits are only two pages. They're half the size. And I just wanted to show you the difference. So the actual pages of the sticker sheets are the same, but you can see here that the stickers are a little bit smaller. So on the mini kits, um, the archways and the Polaroids and things like that, there are a little bit smaller than the ones that you have in the larger kits. So these are meant for, you know, the larger planners like the A5 Stalogies or the Hobonichi Cousins so that you can write in them. And these ones, the ones from the larger kit, the full kit, you can use these in the Hobonichi weeklies as kind of like full boxes so they will fit in there. Obviously these will fit in there too because they're smaller than that but I just want to give you a different option. It's just also a different aesthetic as well. So I would love to know your feedback um, if you guys prefer the watercolor artwork in the larger kits or do you guys prefer the style of artwork in the mini kits which is only two pages. So this is just something that I'm trying out. If you guys like both of them, I would be happy to create more kits with both styles. But I just wanted to give you guys options because the journaling kits do seem to be a popular choice in the shop. So I just wanted to give you guys more options to choose from so that they fit better in the different planners that you guys may be using. So um, the Rose Floral is a full kit. You get four pages, you have the beautiful larger um, elements so a lot of these feature the beautiful watercolor florals and I just love this kind of combo of the lighter grays and blues paired with the more potent green and red it's very beautiful but if you are not celebrating Christmas or you don't have the kind of wintry weather I do have the sage floral here so for those of you who live in countries where it doesn't snow or doesn't get cold I have this option for you so this one features again a beautiful watercolor artwork I just love all these sage tones mixed with the peachy pinks. It's just gorgeous. So again, you have the larger elements here with the fashion girls, some swatches. You have the beautiful archways. I love this. I think it's so, so pretty. This artwork is just my favorite. So again, you have the ripped washi. We have these also available um, in smaller quarter sheets. So if you don't want the full kit, you can order those separately. But these are really great to decorate your journals or your planners, your daily pages and things like that. So with the four pages, as you guys can see, there are some elements that are not included in the mini kit. So for example, you don't get the bottom washi like this in the mini kit. So hopefully you guys will be able to see those differences. The full kit features larger elements and you have four pages, whereas the mini kits feature this type of artwork and there are a little bit less elements and they're also made a little bit smaller. So I have three of the mini kits here that I've created just to see if you guys like them. So again, you still have some of the same elements like the ripped washi, the archways and the Polaroids. They're just made a little bit smaller 
to fit in smaller planners, but you do still get a couple of fashion girls here. All these elements are so cute. So this one is called Wizard Cafe, and if you look closely, you can kind of see a Harry Potter theme to it. So it just says like magic coffee, chocolate frogs there, um, history of magic, and then welcome to the wizardry cafe and things like that. So it's really cute. I love this artwork. Um, I do have a matching Hobonichi Cousin kit that will feature this artwork. So once again, I'm veering into different artwork, um, trying out different styles in the Hobonichi Cousin kits. Um, previously, I've just been using watercolor artwork, but I thought that I would use some of this artwork too in case um, the watercolor artwork is not your thing. So I'm just doing this to cater to different um, people and different planners because I know that people have different aesthetics and preferences, so I just want to have something for everyone. So let me know what you guys think of this format. Um, if you guys like it, then I'll definitely do more. I'm thinking about switching up the font as well because I have a font that I absolutely love and I think it would be really cute with this style of artwork as well. So you'll see me trying out new things um, in the next coming week if you guys do end up liking this style. So that's the first mini kit. And then the second mini journaling kit is called Kuma Cafe. So again, another kind of neutral cafe or coffee themed kit. This time the ripped washi has this really cute kind of brick pattern to it. It's so, so adorable. So again, you have the days of the week scripts. You have this cute deco piece here. And then you have the archways, the Polaroids, and all those other elements that um, I think would be really cute in a journaling spread. I know that I'm going to be using this kind of style in my journal, so I'm really excited about it. And then the last mini kit is books and coffee. So I do have a monthly as well as a weekly vertical kit that matches this. I actually do have vertical kits that match these ones too that are coming out or they're already up in the shop. So if you guys are not into the journaling style stickers but like this artwork, I have it for vertical planners as well. So this one features a lot of really cool colors. I love how subdued these two colors are. I think it's very pretty. So it does have a coffee and books theme as an author. This is right up my alley. I love this box here. It reminds me of New York so much and I miss it. So yeah, this is definitely another favorite of mine. I'm so excited to use it myself. So those are the new mini journaling kits that are coming to my shop. Let me know if you guys enjoy this format because if you do, I'm definitely going to be bringing some more to the shop. Um, but if you prefer the larger kits, um, these are not gonna be going away, so don't you worry. Um, I just wanted to give you guys some options. So those are all the new releases for this week. Once again, if you guys are interested in anything that you see here, it's already up in my main shop and you guys can use the code save 10 to save 10% off of your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the shop. Bye guys!